So I'm setting up a new print, um, a little bigger than the one from before, and this time around I made those grooves underneath the base to to basically give it more um, while it's hollow, that way um, I can print and uh, the tension of the plastic will, will be diminished. Anyway, the shrinkage should actually be better. Um, so if you look at the ZBrush model, you have those grooves everywhere. It used to be um, just completely flat. So, I've been reading on the internet and uh, to avoid uh, warping you can have that kind of blue tape and I made this kind of you can barely see it but this kind of I made a sludge out of uh, ABS plastic and uh, a dissolvent and basically it's supposed to help sticking to the surface so I'm preheating the uh, the bed that part which is called the bed and uh, shouldn't touch it because it's just gonna get hot and um, I'm pretty hopeful that it's gonna get some better results I'm set at fine there's like three settings normal fast and fine the last time was at normal I'm at find I calibrated my nozzle I'm not printing with a raft which is uh, usually kind of a it's going to print a little bit of a raft and support right here, so it's going to go from there to the nose, eyes, ears. Um, but instead of getting this really big plastic base, some sites say it's better with it, some sites say it's better without it. It's I'm going to try, and uh, it's, pro it's probably not going to be very good. Uh, I'm pretty hopeful. So that setting right here is to actually get the model to be uh, as hollow as possible. My resolution, my Z resolution, which is the height, uh, is at set at the maximum uh, resolution. So we'll see. So first, I've been buying some uh, some acetone, which is uh, a dissolvent. So plastic can melt, or you can kind of do a, a coating. Uh, I actually tried to to use the acetone on top uh, of the printed model well the one I did uh, previously it's looking very bad and shiny but it should have melt a little bit of the surface I didn't overdo it because it will eventually melt it now it's kind of dry uh, I created this sludge out of uh, uh, leftover plastics ABS plastic that I, you know, like from the uh, the raft uh, the, from my previous attempts, uh, which were not that, not very successful. So I've got all that leftover plastic, and I'm creating, I'm melting the, I'm basically melting the plastic with the acetone and making kind of a well an ABS um, bed. So normally ABS on ABS should actually stick a little more so we'll see how that works um, I bought some you know kind of gray primer uh, it's not necessarily like a model primer it's just some generic primer for plastic or metal wood or I'm just gonna see I'm just gonna paint that that model right here it's it's probably not gonna look that great but I just want I don't want it to be uh, that blue finish or shiny finish so experimenting 